Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, and today I'm bringing you another one of my one-off top 10 lists, and this will be the top 10 abandoned ab a abandoned stuff in The Simpsons Tapped Out. So, uh, someone commented a while back that the key to the city, I think that someone said that the key to the city could have been like the next Road to Riches prize or something. And I kind of thought, yeah, wait, I forgot about that. <laughs> so I thought like, oh, God, I could make a video about all the stuff that Tapped Out just abandoned. And that's what this video is. So it's not just, um, I guess, like content, ways to get content that's abandoned. It's also over like little features and stuff. Things that I really think are kind of missing from the game. Uh, and, and kind of, I guess, I, I miss them and I wish they would return. And so that's what this video will be today, the top 10 abandoned stuff uh, in The Simpsons Tapped Out. So let's get into it with number 10. And number 10, I think this one is... The reason why I've put it at number 10 and not any higher is because part of me is thankful for the fact that crafting is gone. But part of me it, it kind of wants it back. Um, so event crafting... If any brand new players who've you know been playing in the last two years, you probably have no idea what event crafting is. But basically, what we used to have in major events, major events used to be formatted very differently. And we still have a prize track, but it would normally be free acts, and they often would sometimes be longer, or sometimes they had longer prize tracks. But normally, it would just be the five prize tracks. Uh, with well, the prize tracks with five prizes, but there would be so much stuff in the crafting. There would be loads. So all the decorations that you get in the prize track, as of today, back in the day, <clears throat> you would have just got them in the crafting. Now the crafting was very tedious and annoying, and it got very boring very quickly. When it first came out, I was quite happy with it. Maybe it's, I think I forget exactly which update it was, but I found it fairly easy. At least because that back then I was still playing. Uh, I only had like a few hundred donuts, so I was I was having to grind out that stuff to, to actually get it myself. I didn't find it too hard back then, but I know it got excruci excruciatingly difficult and also really tedious. And so, like I said, part of me is kind of like happy that crafting is no longer here, and part of me kind of wants it back just because I'm a little sick of getting crappy little decorations in the prize track. It feels it feels silly to have to you know do all this stuff and you don't even get very, anything very good you get like a crappy little decoration and a lot of those decorations i just think would be cool to go into crafting or maybe even they if they just had one event where we had crafting come back for a little bit i'd, I'd be cool with that just if it was just one update <clears throat> i know that the crafting technically still is in the game because you've got it in the monorail you've got it in the springfield heights but like i said more this is just event crafting I think a better solution would just be to add the stuff to the store. So any like decorations, I think really should just, unless they're like big aspirational decorations, I think they should just be added to the store. But I still think, I, I still miss crafting a little bit, but I put it at number 10 just so it's, it's not too high. Moving on. Number nine is the Springfield Heights. So I kind of feel that the Springfield Heights was... Possibly the worst expansion update, I'm not going to lie. Um, I found Springfield Heights very annoying, very repetitive, and very uh, excruciatingly boring at times. But the one thing I really loved about it is the Red Blazer Realty Prize Track. I thought that was really cool. And so I'm kind of... Part of me is like, uh, the billionaire heaven makes sense as the final prize, but part of me wants more. It'd be awesome if they brought like a part three... Uh, to the Springfield Heights, and we got a few more prizes. Like, maybe they give us the old Red Blazer Realty. Here's another thing, right? They could introduce, like, a new a new feature. So maybe, I don't know, like, house housing sales. So instead of your real estate value, it's your uh, sale of properties or something like that. And it 
when you unlock, you, we don't have to get something as awesome as the billionaire heaven, but what we could get instead is like a house, you know, a nice looking mansion or something as the big final prize. Uh, maybe Kent Brockman's mansion, that could be kind of cool. So like, I, I, I just kind of want something else added to it, and I really just want them to kind of expand on it a little bit more, give us something else with it, but format it in a better way than what part one and part two were. So that's my thing, number nine, Springfield Heights. I'll be honest, I haven't got anything here for the boardwalk. I'm pretty happy with the boardwalk. I, I think I don't really think there's much more they can do with it apart from add some of the buildings that are on there. And they could just throw them into updates anyway. So I'm like happy with the boardwalk. I just feel like Springfield Heights could do with a little bit more personally. But again, it's not high, high on my list. So I've just left it at number nine. But I don't know. I just feel like we need something else for Springfield Heights. We had a part one, we had part two. I think it needs to be a trilogy. Number eight, and this one actually hits me dearly. And number eight is no more new monorail stations. So when the monorail update came out, I was it was a mixed bag. I loved the monorail stuff. I hated the recycling and garbage shit. That was that was boring. And there was a lot of crafting. And that was annoying and tedious too. However, what I thought was really cool about the monorail update, for a time, they gave us new stations. So, we got the, no, I think, that, well, I say for a time, I think they only did it twice, but we got the North Pole station, I think, at Christmas, and then the Halloween the following year, we got the Magic Station, and these were just awesome to get. You know, it was like, oh, wow, they're keeping the monorail alive, and then it stopped. They never bothered again. And I think it's a real shame. I, I know that these would have to be tapped out exclusive. I get that. But I'm cool with that. I think it would be really, really awesome if every so often they just gave us a new monorail. And hey, the monorail is a permanent thing in the game. Any player can, you know, I think at a certain level you, you start it and you can, you know, get some stations and stuff. And so I think, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think that it would be pretty, really, really cool just to get some new monorail stations occasionally. And for a time, like I said, we it, it looked like they were going to be starting that trend, and then it just stopped. And I was like, oh, okay, no more monorail stations. And that's all I think they really have to do to expand upon the monorail. Uh, they could do like another update where we get Lyle Landley. I know lots of people want Lyle Landley. I don't know if they're going to ever add Phil Hartman's characters. I very much doubt it. But there's still some more monorail stuff they could definitely add. There's uh, the, the destroyed monorail, which I think would be kind of cool, you know, to put like as a dead end on one of your tracks, maybe. Or you have the um, the Lyle Landley Institute building that was shown in that little TV advert. There's a few things they could add for sure in terms of content, but I'm in terms of like the actual expansion of the monorail, I, I'm fairly happy with it. I would just like some more stations added here and there. And they don't even have to be, like, you know, one every update. I'm just talking, like, one every year, you know? If we just got one every year, I'd be happy. And, and yeah, I'm just a bit disappointed that there is no more new monorail stations. Number seven. This one's, like, a little bit of a pet peeve. But building quest lines. I'm sorry, right? I, don't, I know that maybe... Maybe this is, like, really petty and, and, not, and not that... I can understand people being like, oh, well, this isn't such a big deal. Sure, but it used to really... It really bugs me that they just completely got rid of building quest lines. So back in the day, say if you got a building in the prize track, you put that building down, there's like a two-part or one-part quest for it. It might just be something simple, like a little bit of dialogue, and then, for example, with the volcanic pizza, the... Um, for the pizza place and it's just make Cletus grab a slice and that's literally just the one task and it's one task done for this one I think this was for the one of the magic buildings it's make kids eat around the scorpion bite bits it's just a simple one quest thing but it allows you to see the building animation and what would even be better just to add on this is whoever had that task so with this, I don't know, I don't remember if this might be the case, but like make Cletus have this as a permanent task, make the kids have this as a permanent task, you know, like I would be kind of cool, that's how I would want them to do this, And but at the very least, I just want some building quest lines, it's really disappointing that they just don't have any anymore, they used to do it for every building that didn't come with a character, 
uh, you would have a building quest line. And even with characters sometimes, I'm pretty sure there was a few times where like there'd be a character and a building and the building would have a separate quest line. But yeah, they've just seemed to got rid of building quest lines altogether. It's really disappointing. Um, it just feels like they're being a little less careful with the, like, not, well, not careful, what's the word? It, it feels like there's less care, basically, going into the game. And that was a big thing for me. It was around about the, it was after the Itchy and Scratchy uh, update. It was around about that time. That's when, like, they just stopped doing building quest lines. And it was like, oh, okay, so no more building quest lines. This is really annoying. <laughs> yeah, so that's number seven. Number six. Some people might be happy about this, but number six is Tappables. I miss Tappables. I I'm not gonna lie. I found them annoying sometimes. I know that I had a few people in my comments. Uh, anyone remember Apperson, <laughs> who uh, vehemently hated Tappables? I think I think uh, Apperson was gonna like. He he was angry at the Tappables, but. I don't know, part of me likes the Tappables, and I kind of wish we just had an update with some of them. You know, having like all these little NPCs running around your town that you have to tap on? I mean, that's the name of the game, it's called Tapped Out. That's the whole point, you're meant to tap tap things, you know? <sighs> yeah, I can understand, they get annoying. Yeah, I can understand they get tedious. I'm not asking to have them in every single major update. I would just like one or two updates every year. Maybe just throw in a few tappables. Maybe that's how you earn the crafting. That could work. Like, as in, like, you just have to tap so many of the tappables and then you get, like, a crafting thing. Like, you know, you, you, get, you unlock a crafting thing. It makes crafting easier that way. So you can combine the tappables with the crafting. You just have to tap them and say, like, so the first prize, uh... Yeah, so wait, say say if I tap this dude right, maybe I get like you know the hats. So I tap him and I own a hat, right? And say if I want to unlock, um, I want to unlock this monorail station. All right, let's just pretend this monorail station's brand new. I want to unlock this monorail station, right? And I've got a tap. I've got to get. I've got to collect like, let's say a hundred of these hats, right? So I have to tap a hundred of them, and it will take a while. And obviously you have to keep logging back on but it's doable right and there's a clear goal there it makes the crafting easy and not tedious and annoying where you have to like craft one thing and then level up to be able to craft this next thing and then you have to actually have you know some of the you have to have this currency and this currency in order to craft it don't make it don't make it complicated combine the tappables with the crafting and yeah i think that could work yeah that, that's just simple it's just like an easy prize track really um, I don't know. Just a spitball. Maybe that. Maybe there's some like reasons why. Maybe it's not uh, good enough to. You know. Maybe it doesn't incentivize people enough to skip things with donuts. <laughs> so maybe that's the reason. But I really do miss tappables. I would like them back in the game. Number five is levels. Okay. So you saw this in the thumbnail and in the opening thingy. <sighs> I love the levels. I think the levels really made the game for me. And I came for the levels, I stuck around for the events. And part of me really, really wishes they didn't wrap up the levels at 60. I kind of wished they kept going. And, uh, hit, like, hear me out. They could make them, like, a yearly thing. That would have been fine. Like, we'd just get a level a year. But instead, they decided to, they were going to go full force ahead with just doing, you know, just, we're just doing events now. And levels were just completely disregarded. And it's just a shame. Like, I remember waiting so long for level 60. And then it came out. And it was kind of mediocre. It really was. It was kind of shit. Like, we got the wise guy. And then we got the lizard queen Lisa. It didn't feel like the, the big boom that they should have been aiming for. And I know that it's probably now impossible. Because obviously everyone... Well, you can reach level was it 900 and whatever it was so like you, there's the argument well you can't do it anymore but that's not true you can still do it you can have a level 61 60 i i propose right that they bring in some levels that are just like 10 levels so people who are at level 61 um will have to so sorry anyone who people who were say it like so just release 10 new levels right but have one of them be level 61, level 62, 63, 64, 65. So 10, 10 new levels. 
But say if you're like level, you know, 78 or level 122 or level, you know, 190, whatever it is, 93, whatever the heck it is, you still unlock these levels, but you just have to do them one at a time. So you'll unlock level 61 first, and as soon as you've done level 61, then level 62 will unlock. But if you are level 61, you unlock level 61, and once you reach level 62, you do level 62. I think there is a way of adding levels back, right? Because that's what happens anyway. If you skip to, like, level, you know, if, if I just skip donuts or, like, XP grind, and I haven't, I've barely played the game, and I reach to, like, level 60, I still, you know, have to play all the levels. I mean, you don't have to, I know you don't have to play them in order, but they could just program it so you have to play them in order. And I think that's, that, that would be a, a way to bring back levels into the game. I think levels were just a really special thing. I personally would adore them to come back. I really do think that they're just part, it's part of, like, something that's missing for me in tapped out is definitely this because they were just simple you just get a bit you know you get your premium item your character and your building and then you get your store item which is a, uh, a building and a, a character and then you get maybe a decoration or another building in the prize track you know like a deco a couple decorations or maybe one or two or like a building also in that level two and it was perfect it was so perfect it was simple it was easy it was quick you know and you had like a nice little quest line i really love the levels and i think honestly i would open the doors for them to come back i really would i know it's now harder because a lot of those sort of characters that you would traditionally throw in the level have or are already in the game so most likely they're not going to do that but i still think it's plausible i still think they can do it if they wanted to there's still loads of characters that need to be added in the game a big one that you could start this off with mod flanders with the left orium start it off with that start it off with a bang boom mod flanders such a big character i just really want them to bring levels batman um <laughs> that's my campaign for it i hope you agree levels awesome number four is friend what the hell happened to friend prizes <laughs> what the hell happened to friend prizes that was that was over and done with so quickly I liked the friend prizes quite a lot. Now, granted, it's annoying because if you don't have friends who play the game, you have to add randos. And maybe that's part of the reason why, potentially. I don't know. Like, I don't have any personal... I have one person I know who plays Tapped Out. It's a family member. So, like, that's the only person I can play Tapped Out with. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, it's... Um, Maybe that's the reason. But friend prizes were really cool. I really enjoyed them. I thought, you know, it was really awesome to, you know, unlock some kind of miscellaneous stuff. But there were some big things in there, like the om omelet head. Uh, om omelet head. The big head, anyway. Like, that's like a tap. Like, it's like a Simpsons. Like, that's like a real iconic Simpsons thing, you know? It's in the basement all the time. And Homer's car, of course, and Snowball 2. Like, there was some. And Stampy as well, I think. Yeah. There's some really iconic stuff in the in the friend prizes, so it's and KBBL as well, yeah. There was so much stuff, and I don't know, they could definitely add up on that. It's weird that they just never bothered because I always got the impression. I'm pretty sure it said in the quest. I think it said like more friend prizes on the way, and they changed it. But I was on. I always got the impression that they were just gonna add, you know, add more as like more players got the you know the final prize they would just end up adding more and more and more and more and more and forever and ever and that's what i thought they were doing when i was when it first came out i was like wow this is really awesome and then it just stopped <laughs> like they just never bothered uh yeah I, it's just another thing that's kind of like uh, d just died like another like way of getting new stuff and they just ended it and there is something else there is another thing that they did this but it's even more annoying because there's a little dick tease in there and that's number two Oh god no that's not number 2. We'll get onto that in a minute. <laughs> number f two, number f number 3. That is number 2, not number not number not number 3. Anyway, before we get onto that dictates, number 3, some annual events. Where the hell are these annual events? This is like a big thing for me. I couldn't give a fuck about Easter, I'm not gonna lie. Like Easter, whatever. They did it if they they basically did one Easter event and then they had like an Easter store every year where they would just add returning stuff pretty much and maybe like i think one year they added like one new thing i might be wrong there and then pride 
is like a mix mixed bag because Pride started quite late. They started doing Pride events. I think they just did it. I think it might have been twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen. They did a Pride event, and then they did a few more, uh, and then they stopped, and then they did one in twenty twenty. So we did get one in twenty twenty, which was kind of cool. But like, um, that was the last time we got it. But it used it was annual for a little bit. But the other two, Fourth of July and St Patrick's Day, a travesty that these are not still going. Now. 4th of July, all I ask for is a brand new president. Bring back the 4th of July store, the returning stuff, so all the new players or players who want to get that stuff can get that stuff. And then, give us a president. We used to get a president a year. It was Lincoln. Uh, Well, no, it started off... Did it start off with Lincoln or did it start off with George Washington? It started off with one of them. I think it was Lincoln, yeah. It was Lincoln, then George Washington. uh, Then we got... I think Nixon after that, and then we got, um, God, then we got, like, that, that one dude, (laughs) Roosevelt, was it? Um, I'm remembering these presents. Uh, we got Reagan one year, anyway, and then I guess you can technically maybe count Aaron Burr as, I know he's a vice president, but sort of, I I kind of, like, if, hey, if they gave us presidents slash vice presidents, I'd be cool with that, too, but, like, I guess you can maybe count 2019 with Aaron Burr. But, like, 2020, we didn't get a single one. And 2021 doesn't look like we're going to be getting a single one either. Uh, and I think with the Aaron Burr, they added him, like, later in the Christmas update anyway. So, um, doesn't really count. Yeah, I, 4th of July, I'm just kind of mad. Because that's all they have to do. Just, like, they can throw it in the store during an event. It's not hard. They could just... They've done it many a time before. Just throw something in the store... And have like a little 4th of July, all the return, re- returning 4th of July stuff. It's really not hard to do. They could just make it quick and easy. And just give us one new item that they could... They don't even have to... Tell you, what, you don't even have to write a quest line for it. You can write like a two, two, three part quest line. That's all you have to do. Uh, I just want a new president. I'm really annoyed that they stopped this tradition. Because it was really cool that we used to get one every year. And then they just blanket stopped it. And it really annoyed me. And St. Patrick's Day. Look, I don't ask for much for St. Patrick's Day. I just want the little classic Tom O'Flanagan's send some characters to get pissed at the pub. That's literally all I would be happy with. But they, they used to do that at the bare minimum every year. And then they would give us like a float or like a decoration or like, a, you know, like an NPC. That would be everything we would get for St. Patrick's Day. And then for new players, Tom O'Flanagan would return and you could put Tom O'Flanagan in your Springfield. And that was awesome. And I really enjoy. I really liked the fact they did that every year. No fail. And then they stopped it. They failed. <laughs> like, and I don't even want like new items. They don't have to add a new item. I just want the stuff to return. And like, maybe just give us like one new decoration at the very least. Like, and just add the stuff and give us that Tom O'Flanagan task, the classic annual one. That's literally all I want for St. Patrick's Day. And they used to do it every year, and it really annoys me that they stopped it. So that is number three. Some annual events. These ones just need to return. We get Christmas. We get. Uh, Halloween every year without fault since 2012 we have got both these events why couldn't they keep up with just the easy simple 4th of July and St. Patrick's Day they don't take much effort they just take a tiny bit of effort and I I, I personally as a fan of the game would really appreciate it if they uh, gave us them so talking about we were talking about dick teasers before number two is Road to Riches Oh boy, this one is um this one is a meme because they gave us this and I was like, wow, this is awesome. This is really cool. We're getting like loads of miscellaneous big things. You know, we've got the Springfield Dam, the the Mansion Gardens, the Rock and the Hard Place, and then what else did we get? I forget what else we got. We got some really cool stuff though, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot I forgot the other stuff. I'm just reading the picture, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I had it in my head before when I was I was so prepared for this before and then I just and I forgot that number three was the annual events. Anyway, Road to Riches, the reason why this one is particularly annoying is because when you scroll along here, right at the end is a coming soon. As in there's something coming soon. But that was there when the update first came out. And nothing, uh, coming soon, it's not coming soon. It's been like four years and it's still not come. I don't know if they have... They don't know the definition of soon, but this was not soon. I think they just abandoned this. I don't know. I think they just straight up abandoned Rose to Riches. I, 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 I mean, maybe they forgot, but 
I, I don't know if you could forget that. They just, I think they just straight up abandoned it. What the hell is the coming soon? I remember I did like a video on that. I literally rewatched it the other day. When I did like top like 10 items or top 5 items that the, the Road to Riches coming soon could be. And that was like four, three or four years ago I made that. Like, it's crazy. What the hell happened to Road to Riches? They just abandoned it straight away. Now, maybe it's kind of hard. But like, the reason why I really like this Road to Riches thing is because it made money useful again. Money was f is f useless to me in Tapped Out. I have everything I can want from the store. And if I want to like do a redesign, like and I need to buy a few fences, that costs me nothing. Like I can get the money for that by collecting like two rows of houses or two rows of stores. Like so money for me in, in tapped out is literally useless. Like I don't need it. That I, it could be wiped out today and I wouldn't give a shit. Like it's so useless to me. This made money useful again and I really like this and I wish they would return it. The alternative, if you're not going to bring Road to Riches in the game and give us some more cool stuff in the Road to Riches, EA, here's your other thing. Get rid of shitty decorations in the prize track. Throw them in the store. Make them ridiculously expensive. You can make them. You can make them ten million dollars in or ten million cash in game. That's cool. That's cool. Just don't put them in the prize track. Or you can, at the very least, at the very least, EA, give us what the hell the coming soon was going to be. It, it doesn't even matter if you didn't know, because I personally believe that they have absolutely no fucking idea what the coming soon is they just put that in there as a little dick tease they they didn't plan this at all you can throw whatever you want as the coming soon whatever it is uh, it's got to be something cool right i'm not waiting four years for like a fucking fence but <laughs> throw in something kind of cool the, I, my recommendation is the world world's largest toilet all right give us the world's largest toilet as the uh as the final prize uh, as the coming soon prize, and then you can just end it there if you really want. But you've got to, at the very least, at the very least, give us what that coming soon was. Please, don't leave us hanging like this. And speaking of the uh, world's largest toilet, that leads me to number one. So we'll do a little drum roll. So number one, number one, is the unreleased content. So this might be, maybe some people will disagree with me, but this shit, has been, well, was discovered years ago. Nuclear Videos HD is the one who, like, first reported on this. This is how old this shit has been in the game. <laughs> so, there is loads of shit in the game that was never released. So, basically, people would data mine, uh, like, I guess people from the wiki have data mined and found this shit in the files. So, it was never ever released, but it was stored somewhere in the files for the game. Um, so there's a few things. The the sort of the two biggest things is the well, I think the most important thing that I want is the world's largest toilet. Oh god, please just give her this to us. Make this the Road to Riches final prize. That's cool. That's what I would like them to do. Um yeah. It's crazy that they never they've still never added this, but this was in the file. It looks really awesome. People thought it was gonna be like the next thing after the skyscraper. Uh, the popsicle sticks skyscraper and they escalated to nowhere. People thought it was going to be the next thing after that, but then it ended up just never ever coming out. I think it was like 2013 or 2014 when this was like discovered, and it's still not been added. It's crazy to me. Uh, Halla Roach Apartments. This was originally meant to come with Jacqueline Bouvier. This is the residence that she lives in in one episode, and then she ended up being added eventually because she was meant to be added in a Thanksgiving update with this building or a Christmas update with this building, and then it just never happened. Happened. She wasn't added, and then a few years later, she was added with that other building. So there's m many other residents who who were seen here. So they can definitely give us like a resident with this with with these apartments for sure. Um, we got the nuclear inspector van. I think this one's kind of cool. I would like this. This little ice cream cart thingy. I thought this was kind of cool. So I would like this. The di diaper hill uh, would be awesome. You got the maple little stand there, which never came out. Uh, Gil, so there was an unlock screen that was seen for Gil, so it looked like Gil was going to be added at some point, and then they decided against it. Basically, there was a little unlock screen that was found for, or at least like the text for the unlock screen was found. Uh, you got the 3D Homer. I don't know if this was just a text icon, as in he was meant to appear in the text icon, if this was an actual costume. I can never really tell, but 
there's the chance that it was an actual costume that was meant to be added. I'm not sure. Though on that one, it might just be the text icon. Uh, this one was really disappointing, the Jackson 5. So they were supposed to be in the boardwalk performers, but were put out for an unknown reason. Still mentioned in the game files with the description, a performer for your boardwalk. And the unlock message is, come on brothers, let's not fight, let's dance. The little Jackson 5 from the uh, episode, it, there was the, the, it's basically like, Mike, I think it might be Michael Jackson, but it's Michael Jackson with like, and then the other the Jackson 5 are like puppets basically, or like little like mannequin things. Um, probably for like legal reasons I guess that was not added but that one's really disappointing I definitely would have liked, liked that um, and then this thing finally uh, there's a, there are a few more decorations I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see the whole thing but finally the big thing was these like Cletus uh, there's going to be more plants added to Cletus's farm so you have the uh, was it Fiji berries the uh, meth plant tofu and the cabbage baby yeah and they just never added these which is kind of weird that they were in the files that they were supposed to be added to the farm but yep just never added so like i said that is number one um the reason why it's number one is just like this stuff has been in the files for so long and it's just never been added which is crazy to me uh, especially because there's been plenty of updates where some of this stuff should have been added like this one, I know this was in the files for the monorail and garbage thing, but come on, this just should have been added. Just throw it in the store, make it easy. Um, like, the world's largest toilet is crazy that that's still not being added. This is, like, the most, the biggest one. And also, my man Gil, he deserves to be added as an actual proper player, or, or an actual playable character. Yeah, so that is it in terms of my top 10 abandoned stuff in The Simpsons Tapped Out. So I hope you have enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts. If there's anything I missed or you think that I've missed, please do tell me down below. And tell me if you agree with my number one pick or if you think something else on this list should have been the number one or if you think something I didn't even include on this list should be number one. But I uh, shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.